Hello everybody, my name is Marina and I'm going to be doing my presentation on James Van Der Zee. In this presentation, I'm going to talk a little bit about who James Van Der Zee was, his personal life, his professional career, I'll go through some honors and awards that he received, and then I'll show you some of his work. So James Van Der Zee was a renowned Harlem-based photographer who was known for his photos that recorded the Black Renaissance, also known as the Harlem Renaissance. He was most famous for his posed storytelling type images, and it was known that he captured images of lower and middle class citizens as well as upper class celebrities. So a little bit about his personal life. James was born in Lenox, Massachusetts in 1886. In 1906, he moved to Harlem, New York with his older brother. In 1907, a year after he moved to New York, he married Kate Brown and they moved to Virginia. A year later, they welcomed their first child and decided to go back to New York, and they sadly divorced in 1915. Five years later, he married Ganella Greenlee, and sadly, later in their marriage, they he, she passed away. Um, after she passed away, it was reported that James was living in squalor and poor health, uh, but he later met an art gallery director named Donna, and it was then that he was known more throughout the art world, and it was said that that was when his career became revitalized. Eventually, he died of a heart attack at age 96 in Washington, D.C. So a little bit about his professional career. James first developed a passion for photography in his youth and began taking pictures for his high school. When he was living in Virginia with his first wife, he was a professional photographer for the Hampton Institute. Later, he opened his own studio in Harlem. And as I mentioned previously, he was known for taking photographs of people of all walks of life and all occupations and took thousands of photos. He was most recognized for his work showing the middle class African American life, hence why he's known very well for his work throughout the Harlem Renaissance. But he also photographed celebrities including Florence Mills, Hazel Scott, and Bill Cosby. A couple honors and awards that he received throughout his career. He now has a permanent place in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. He received the Living Legacy Award from President Jimmy Carter, and he received an honorary doctorate degree from Howard University. So now we'll go through and look at some of his work. This was a photo titled Evening Attire and was taken in 1922 and is in the collection of the Smithsonian American Art Museum. This was a photo titled Lady with Wide Brim Straw Hat and was taken in 1934. This photo is titled Man with Bow Tie and was taken in 1931. Lady in Lace Dress, taken in 1936. Um, I think that this photo shows an interesting fact that I came across while I was researching a little bit more about James Van Der Zee, and that was that he often had a wardrobe or props or certain poses that he would um, pose his clients in in order to help them achieve a more beautiful or dressy or professional looking photo. So as we go through and look at some of the other ones, you'll see that they are oftentimes dressed up very nicely, such as this lady in a lace dress, because this oftentimes might be the only portrait that they would have of themselves. So it was very important to a lot of people that they were able to look their best. This was an example of a group photo that he took titled Wedding Party in 1923. Lady with Fur Jacket in 1935. Church Group with U.S. Flag. And Lady with Large Fur Collar taken in 1939. 
these were some of the websites that I used in order to do my research on James Van Der Zee. Um, that first link right there, the Howard Greenberg Gallery, is a very, very good link if you were interested in learning more about him or you want to see more of his artwork. That one was very um, packed with information. So if you're looking for a little bit more, definitely check that out. Uh, other than that, I hope you learned a little bit something about James Van Der Zee and maybe the Harlem Renaissance as well. So thank you.